All right, let's talk about Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney. In this movie, astronauts are working on the Hubble telescope when they're informed by mission control that a giant cloud of space debris, or space junk, from a series of busted satellites is heading their way, which causes all types of chaos and destruction to happen, leaving the astronauts stranded in space. This movie has intense visuals, dramatic story developments, crazy special effects, and gravity also gets a lot of the science right. For example, the cloud of debris seems to be coming to get them every 90 minutes. That's about how long it takes for things to circle the planet in low Earth orbit. Well done. Also, the stars are all organized pretty much where they need to be, not just a random smattering of white dots in the background. Someone was paying attention to detail. There are also some amazing shots of Sandra floating around in zero gravity in the space stations. See, most Hollywood movies have zero gravity in space and then it disappears when they're in the spacecraft. Not here, they actually did it right. Also, when Sandra Bullock is crying, the tears don't drip down her face, but they float away, which is what would really happen up there. The shots of the Earth on the side facing away from the sun are beautifully shown as lit up cities in the background. Quite breathtaking. Also, there's no sound when things get destroyed, just like it would be in space. There's no air to carry the sound, so the sound design was very well done in this movie. Now, they didn't get everything exactly right. I mean, astronauts would totally go blind without solar visors. The sun's really bright. It's really, really bright. But of course, then we couldn't see their faces, right? And satellites orbit west to east, yet the debris ring seems to be going in the other direction and seems to be going to whatever orbit the characters are in. That's some pretty smart space debris. Also, there's no explanation for why Bullock's character, a medical doctor, is conducting an experiment on a space telescope. Does the Hubble have a flu? What's going on there? There's also a fair amount of small talk and chit chat between Clooney and Bullock's characters regarding her background and family and such. These people trained together for six months, and as charming as Clooney's character is, he would have gotten all of that information out of her on day one, not wait till there's a problem in space to make small talk. And they travel between a shuttle and two space stations in this movie, which all seem to be pretty close to one another. That's not the case. They're located a good ways away from each other, and it would take quite some time to get to them since they're all moving at incredible speeds. They're not just sitting still in one place. But these issues simply have to pass the approval of the Suspension of Disbelief Committee, and we're good, all right. All in all, this is an awesome movie, and director Alfonso Cuaron employed some amazing technology to make this beautifully filmed movie with some mind-numbing visuals. Gravity is heavy, man. Go check it out. It's an instant space film classic.